this 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 is the problem with like the core conceit of the VCS is no one gives a shit about our old Atari games. Yeah, they do. Like, yeah. <laughs> asteroids. I look forward you to your hate mail. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with this week. I totally forgot to um, unmute myself, so I was like, man, I'm awfully quiet there for a minute. <laughs> But on that, that topic, that, that'll do it. I'm old quiet man Vin joined every week by the toffee eating champion of 1997 in Canada, one Jordan Sven. Still reigning toffee eating champion, thank you. Oh, it was a magical day. And the man on the island who is done celebrating this July of 4th, the Good Riddance Day in Britannia. One Pedro Mateus, and you, live, joining us, Chatroom Dynamic, helping us form a big, huggy cocaine Voltron. What's up, beautiful people? I was going to say, like, like Huggies, it's also full of shit. No, it's Voltron with diapers. <laughs> Fuck you. Also, also, full, may be, also full of shit. Voltron shit. Could possibly be a wee bit of cursing on the show. Fair warning. A little bit. A little bit. I'll, I'll, this isn't uh, Wednesday, after all. <laughs> what? I thought it was Wednesday. Oh, man. <laughs> tee hee hee. It's, it's, it's me, Jill. Ha ha. Hee hee hee. What have you been up to, man? Uh, Jordan, I know things are slowly. I mean, outside of just Toronto melting. Oh, dude. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I mentioned earlier, I had two days off in the middle of the week. So, like, I got nothing done. It was, it was, it was, it was bad. Mm um yeah, also, I, also yeah it's I, I like 30 you, man yeah when the pre-pre super shows it's like so what's it like out there? It's like, i haven't been outside today I'm like smart i have <laughs> no like it, it it's gotten way too hot this this little this little shoebox i live in has air conditioning and yeah. so the, the vent is right there Ooh. i'm i am i'm sitting underneath it and i'm just happy with my life right now being not outside you don't have a 212 taped to the top of your head so or the back of your neck i guess it'd be i fun. want the one for the back of your neck yeah. like Cooler master, master my cool, please. <laughs> Don't make me deal with the heat. Do you, do you think we get like a water pump, like belt attachment with a little radiator on it? Only if it goes up my butt. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly where that's going. What's new, what's new with you, Pedro? <laughs> Power slide came out on Steam. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that was literally it for me yesterday. <laughs> I got an email from Steam. It's like, oh, one of the games you wish listed uh, has been released. So I click on it. It's like power slides. Like, <gasps> oh, it's only three pounds too. So I bought one for me and one for my little brother. Mm. And he's like, I don't know that game. It's like, oh yeah, that game came out the year you were born. What's Oops. wrong with you? <laughs> don't you like retro gaming? <laughs> it's obscure. It's underground. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's uh, it, it was developed by Ratbag Games, Australian uh, development, which then got bought by Midway, which proceeded to basically do the EA thing and destroy them. Uh, just have them work on really god awful games, licensed games. And um, yeah, no, Power Slide was really nice because in 1998, if you wanted proper like six point suspension simulation. No other game did it. That was the first. So, yeah. <laughs> right on, man. Uh, what have I been doing? Uh, again, playing with uh, aforementioned hardware in production uh, for the interfacing Linux thing I'm doing. Uh, I did test a 202. This like weird little uh, FireWire interface that just apparently was sold at some point, but that's all the information the internet has for it. And like the only good thing I can say about it, it gets extremely warm. It's a solid metal brick. You know, it's like a big diseased bloated iPod. You could get two since you could chain them and like keep your feet warm. Mm. Or think. just very, very, very sweaty. In the summertime, yeah, you could do a sauna, maybe pour some water on it, you know, keep it on the desk. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the sparks. <laughs> do, do you ever deal with it? Because I'm mean, not like, it, it was that thin line of like, I don't trust it hot, but it was like, yeah, that that's really warm. It was. Yeah, let, let, let's take this off the synthetic carpet and like <laughs> put that on the desk. <laughs> no, no, not the wood one, the glass one. Um, yeah, no, no, not the rubber made plastic desk because it's gonna melt through that too. Yeah, but yeah, man, uh, I'm tinkering around with this Motu Traveler MK1, like straight hotness out of 2009. It's got a bunch the, of the, like 
What does it come? Does it come with Wesley? Dude, no. It it's Master of the Unicorn, baby. No, no I'm I'm, th- I'm thinking like the the traveler that that guy that kidnapped Wesley Crusher. Yeah, it ate him. Ate him. Unicorn right. Masters. It's not the ma- wizard of the unicorn who would. Oh, uh, I, th- I thought it was Unicron. Apparently, it's Unicorn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't even have anything to follow that up with. It's the. St- well, I, I am you... Unicron Wizard. Hey, I know no one heard that at home because I forgot to load no. a uh, audio channel. But deal with it. You'll get it in the recording. Um, <laughs> tell us about the rounding errors for this month. Yes, so a uh, new um, Steam hardware and software survey is out, and Linux is down. Down by a significant, let's have a look, see, minus not point not three. And uh, Linux, the share uh, between the three OSs is at not 88, so still very much exactly where we were. <laughs> and... Speaking speaking of numbers, like um, we're we're starting to see the Mac numbers dwindle a bit. Like those dropped from last year. It's going to be weird. Like in the coming years, seeing just all the leftover Intel Macs just get retired um, as, as that as the thing gets smaller. When and that smaller rolls, and smaller. I mean, you, you will genuinely see. Like, oh, if you ever wanted to see a wild bar chart, eat shit. Just. Uh, <laughs> But yeah. I, I'm, I'm very curious because we saw that uh, benchmark leak like a week or two ago with Rosetta 2 with their um, x86 emulation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even think I public. Thank you, Apple. Um, th- this is how we get legitimate ARM laptops. Is Apple's finally yep. doing it. Then the rest of the yeah. industry goes, okay. And I know somebody's like, but Microsoft did it. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. We need Apple to come out so then people well, will put the, some R&D behind it. The, the, sure the, it the, 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 the big problem I have with that is like... They're, they're, Apple is going full full on like bootloader lockdown, and something tells me that if Apple starts doing full on bootloader lockdown, we're going to start seeing the Windows based ARM stuff. Oh, everybody's well. going to try it, mm-hmm. and then they'll probably be the one company who's like, "Hey, we're not like that." And hopefully, it'll be Dell or somebody, and they'll sell everyone because you don't want oh, to no, it, lock it, it it'll, like it, that. It'll it'll probably be Lenovo too, because like. They they're they're like legit shipping Fedora on laptops now. So. This is true. I mean, that could be yeah. something. I I could see both <laughs> arguments. Like on enterprise, you're like, yes, this is a completely security chain verified end to end. Versus, I'd like yeah, to yeah. install something else on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. But Indeed. check and, this out. Uh, um, uh, looking at the Linux specific things, there's a, a couple of interesting bits. Like the RX 480 is the um. 6.81% yeah. most widely used um GPU the the, the which... 1060 <laughs> is is is, is kind of dropping off there which I, which I thought is a little surprising but also also you have to consider too that like the numbers drop don't actually correlate to like um people using more of it cuz like the steam user base is constantly growing so it's kind of like this lopsided yeah. growth <laughs> Where things are increasing at like non-standard rates, I don't, I don't know. AMD is still fighting for that thirty percent of their of the CPU market. Like they 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 are routinely going up month after month as more people yep. get on the Ryzen train. <laughs> it's would be silly not to do it at this point, though, right? Well, yeah, of, of course. But like for so long, we've we've just been seeing that like dominant Intel number, and it's slowly going down. But we saw like the original Ryzen, like the seventeen hundred series, and they're like, yeah. Well, you know what? Compared to the bulldozers, I had. Uh, it's like, wow, this thing actually does stuff. It's great. But it yeah. wasn't with I, IPC. It wasn't really there. And with, you know, the Zen Plus, the second route. But now, now. Yeah, now yeah. the 3700X, for example, uh, it has better IPC than basically any Intel CPU. Unfortunately, Intel CPUs hit a significantly higher clock than AMDs do right now, at least for everyday use. So yeah, the IPC is better, but Intel still reigns in that single thread performance because higher clock speeds. Well, it's not all about clock speeds, <laughs> Pedro. We've been over this in the 2000s. A, That's why we had a, the it, XP it, 1200, because it was 1200 megahertz equivalent. It's it's not, it's not yes. the size of your clock. It's how you use it. <laughs> it it's just good to see AMD almost at thirty percent, and that's just going to keep going up. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. So um so uh it looks like it looks like um Windows and Mac aren't the only guys that are going to be having uh, Steam support. Uh, 
there is a uh, there's an article from uh, 95 Google. Apparently, due to some leaks, uh, they are finding out that there is what, what is this called? Borealis, which is a familiar sounding name if you play right. any of the Portal games. Um, this is the <laughs> Ubuntu based and distribution. Half-life. For um yeah, uh, the the Ubuntu based uh, distribution supposedly for running Steam games on Chrome OS, which you know makes sense. Like Google is trying to position Chrome OS as like a legit laptop alternative. You know maybe you want it to be able to play games. That's kind of been like Microsoft's like defense of Windows. Like hey, you can play games on this. Well now you can play. Uh, you could <laughs> maybe play some games on Chrome OS. <laughs> um, but but so here 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 here's my here's my thinkum stinkum though. Okay, I wonder like. If if Google if Google sees this coming, they have a bunch of Linux code for Stadia. Stadia is gonna tank, but like, hey, we have these games that you can play exclusively on Chrome OS now. Well, if they're gonna be doing that, I, I'm gonna say they they would just make you use Stadia. Well, I well, I mean, what's what's the, what's the point of having like a specialized client? Um, I th- I think I think someone someone knows this is the contingency, right? Stadia was uh, was predicted, or we industry has been saying Stadia is probably going to tank. We could Google is finally when when you talk about Stadia now, I think some, we could go be like, hey, Google, what Stadia? I'm like what? Remember Stadia? Oh, right. Is that you still, still get? Yeah, okay. You still get ads for it on YouTube. It's. YouTube red, maybe. Yeah, their Twitter uh, account has gone a bit more quiet now. They still post whenever there's like a new update for a game or there's a new game coming. They still post, but yeah, most of the um, Twitter like, oh, all of the likes and all of the retweets of people say it's like, I'm running state is like, yeah, that's gone. I think Stadia well, is a lot like Google Plus in the way of like six people really, really liked it. I was one of those six. And um, eventually it was like, okay, fine, whatever. They'll keep it around for two or three years. But I, I mean, we, 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 got some, we got some other Stadia news later in the show. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to say about this is by the time you get a Chromebook powerful enough to run something more than like your basic action 2D platformer. Mm, I, I, I don't know. We think like a Pixel Book because I still remember like the Pixel Book came out with the yeah. i seven like twelve hundred bucks. It's like I genuinely thought about buying that for people I don't like. <laughs> well, <laughs> for- Here, here's, here's a screaming laptop. Neat. Why does it only run a web browser? <laughs> LGZ cares. Um, the, the, the 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 one the one thing that excites me about Steam on Chrome OS is maybe they'll actually start shipping them with decent sized onboard storage. Mm. That, that, that would be yeah, nice. It's probably still going to be EMMC just because the EMMC modules nowadays go up to like 256 gigs. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Listen, Googs, as long as you just make a pop up for this at some point that just says this cannot run OBS, quit asking the Discord, I'll be happy. It's <laughs> <laughs> the bane of my existence. Uh, oh, man. We still have a permanent early access game. We, we do. do. Don't we, man? <laughs> A19 Experimental B157 is out. What are we talking about? We're talking about seven days to die. Uh, this is just how to get into it. You need to right click, whatever, da, 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 and you can play with it, which I did. But, gang of, well, do we really want to go like new survival system, improved gamepad support? I don't know how you'd play that D- with the gamepad. Di- Inter- di- dynamic music. That, that, that's always nice. Food and water bars. I love a nice water bar. A bar filled with water, HD characters, dynamic music system, loot progression, on screen sprite system, quest improvements. The, the, Ooh. I mean, they're working on it, right? Like, oh, no. It's, it, um, not, not to give them. Yeah. Shit. I'm not saying they're just sitting around in early access going, hey, this money spigot's neat, but it is, I, I loaded it up and I'm like, okay, let's check the still run like dog shit on Linux. Um, <laughs> that version has always been, you know, all the way down from like the CPU Jordan's using for his HTPC to I'm running, it runs like poop on a 1920X Threadripper with a 2060 until. Right up until it's like, well, how does this thing proton? Oh god, there it is. All right, yep. Oh. Let's yeah, find out. it's clear to see what they're optimizing for. <laughs> I'm uh, not uh, sure that they've tried it and let but it graphically. I don't know if it's necessarily the textures have gotten better, but they've definitely done a lot more work. I, I tried this game like every six months, maybe. Uh, with yeah, lighting I, I, is a lot better too. Yeah, I'm I'm going I'm going through the notes now. Apparently, they added some new candies, which include hackers, a health bar, nerd tats, oh shit drops, rock busters, and sugar butts. All right. 
I don't know. Uh, they they just assume that people don't read the um, wall of text release notes that they release. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, th- 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 this is the game I play with this podcast. It's like, let's actually read the article and see what kind of stupid shit they say. It, it It's still around, and it's a better love story yeah, than and- Rust. Yeah, it's, that's the thing that kind of surprised me because uh, I went on Steam Charts. It's like, okay, let's see how many players this has. It's like, oh, it has more players now. And all of 2020, it's had more players than ever before. It's like everything else, like this game, like Rust and all of the others that came out, have been slowly declining. This one keeps picking up. Well, well, the, even the, six months ago, even from six months ago, when you launched it, you, you it looked like a mildly polished. Like I went to the Unity store and just bought a bunch of fucking assets and stuck them around the map. Now, like, oh, this is a game. Well, so I, I, I think, I think it occupies that spot because, like, for a while, Daisy was super popular, right? Probably so still the, is, man. It, it probably still is, but like this, this is one of those projects that's implementing that style of game, and that's probably why it's still have it. still has like a relatively active community, is because there's still demand for this sort of game. But it's just the these are the people who signed up for it. This is the the hardcores, the 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 actual fan base that mm. purchases and plays this game, and not just like your average guy who's going to buy it and play it for about two hours and or whatever. Then you and, definitely have the well of like that this is the type of game that you inflict on your friends like i want more right. people to play with me here you get a copy you get a copy you get a copy then you know, one or two of them now let's all play together it. right <laughs> right, 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 but but like that 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 kind of shit is the lifeblood of these games. Mm-hmm. And if if you're able to like maintain a good maintain a good relationship with your community, implement new features, and like make it a pro, uh, make it a thing that people are actually interested, in, then then you can be successful in like perpetually early access model. It's, it's a thing. Keep Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's up next? Yeah. <laughs> up next we have the update of plenty the update of plenty Ta- i don't feel like <laughs> muting you but just pretend i did okay pedro <laughs> uh sorry i had to do it but yeah no this is that sells not the witcher um this is the update of plenty and uh Somebody they needs are to teach yeah. that boy how to make a gif yeah <laughs> you, you know you know i'm, I'm, I'm like the witcher crunchy. this runs on linux too so mm. It does, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you use the um, Steam Compositor Plus, you can actually play it on SteamOS Wait, or can, any can, kind of SteamOS type can, session. Fair question. Can we use it with the Steam Controller yet? You can now, Ooh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, big fulcrum of this uh, update is very much like the early game and how it used to play versus the late game basically what they're doing is uh they're removing the plus plus and s class weapon scrolls from the late game and to sort of counteract that they're also making enemies in the early game deal a bit less damage and basically making the early game a whole lot less punishing if you make any mistakes whatsoever because you could basically screw (laughs) like a run on the uh, little tutorial introduction uh, sewers level, if you didn't do it properly, or if you were just looking around, so yeah, I I like that cells. I like that cells a lot, but it is very much a roguelike in that if you don't get a good weapon right at the start, just start a new a new run. It, it's just easier. Just, just do it. <laughs> RNG, our 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 RNG yeah. manip, just like don't don't e- don't even try, just fucking re- reset until you get the op weapon i i i i, I that, that reminds me of like old ultimate games like a call of like oh yeah you could get your randomly generated stats or you could just hack the basic code and just max out all the values yeah 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 get out of your system uh, we do have one hmm. new game this week that it's does some, look it's very interesting Yes, some good. It's some good black coffee. Mm-mm. Bonfire Peaks. Uh, according to the description, climb a mysterious ruin. Let go of the past. Set fire to your belongings. <laughs> so it looks like a. It looks like a. Vo- Thank you. It, lo- it looks like um. Mm-hmm. Looks like a box pushing voxel game. And and the product tags. I saw a word that I wasn't familiar with. Sokoban. And so I looked this up. Um, it's it's uh, Japanese for like warehouse game. Where yeah, you move boxes around. But apparently, what's interesting is like. 
Sokoban games are actually a problem for computers to solve. Like, it's piece space complete, and there's, like, a bunch of papers discussing, like, how best to solve it just due to the number of sheer branching pathways possible. So I thought that was kind of neat. So if you're into box-pushing games that are computationally complex, this might be for you. It definitely does look pretty. It's coming spoon. Um, yeah. And um, if you want a really good example of a Sokoban uh, mini game, think like the uh, box pushing puzzles in uh, Nero Tomato. That that that's it. That's literally it. <laughs> but uh, looking at the like the art and the way that the uh, pixel characters are um, or voxels in this case yeah. are being drawn, it's like oh, it's sword and sorcery with an extra dimension. It's like full 3D now. I don't know. It kind I of mean... reminds me of the uh, forklift game in Shenmo. I mean, yeah, that that that's literally yeah. what that is. <laughs> the same it's... thing. Do you know what yeah. would terrify you though? If like from the creator of Steven Sausage, like, nope. I'm oh, done. No, I'm oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> so where were you? Kick me in my dick. Where, where, where you boot up the game and then your computer just outputs like a shotgun and shoots out your kneecaps. Yeah. It's like, like no, have no. fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's like figure um, out. <laughs> all right. Coming up next, apparently we're Linux Stadia cast now because all we're doing is talking about Stadia all games all day, every day, and the dark mod lives up to its name. And we're back, avoiding the uh, popping of corn that's currently happening over in LGC Actual, but uh, chances are, if you're watching us live, you've heard plenty of that yourself, or... Maybe you'd like to know when this is happening. Well, we have a website. It's called LinuxGameCast.com. There's a schedule. And right next to the schedule button, I don't actually remember if it's right. Is, 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 there, is there a no. popcorn button? Dude, this, <laughs> take, take all these bullets for that. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. It's tripping the noise gate, too, man. Uh, they've spent some money around here. Uh, our schedule is also on the Twitch page. It oh, is. nice! <laughs> it is, and if after after watching some of this, maybe you've consumed your own popcorn because you know you want to see what the train where the train like ultimately crashes. Uh, you, you you might you might uh, you might look beyond the popcorn button on our website to the support wait, button. Wait, what? 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 How do you follow the trail of a train? You follow the tracks. Fair point. Yeah. There you go. All right, <laughs> that, that that track sort of sort of going to the uh, support button on our website, LuxGameCast.com. Uh, we we got we got Bitcoin if you want to support us there. We got Amazon wish list. We got LibrePay. We got PayPal. All sorts of good ways to support us. Yeah, if you if you buy stuff on the wish list, you get on the fancy wall behind Ven. Uh, it's true. Uh, we 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 got we got a store as well. T-shirts, whatnot, um, coffee mugs. I need to get myself an LGC coffee mug. Also, because I only have two mugs, yeah, I'm tired of cleaning. Right. I'm tired of cleaning them every two days. Um, <laughs> best way to best best way to support us though, head on over to Patreon.com/slash Linux Gamecast. You can get in for as low as a dollar a week until Patreon changes their charging scheme, and then we'll reconsider. <laughs> but until then, uh, yeah, you a uh, dollar a week gets you access to stuff like our Discord channel, where you can hang out with us the other six days of the week. I'm so happy uh, I exploded. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Explosions in my nipples. Mm, um, happy. Yeah. Uh, if you're in, if you're in our Discord channel uh, on Saturdays, you can show up at seven thirty and listen to us talk about. I don't. I don't know. What were we talking about this week? I, cooking I, nuns. All I'm cooking going to, nuns. I would generally say we go places in the pretty pretty super shows. I'm up to yeah. it. There's even a video version if you want to watch the live. Um, while we're doing it or after the fact, it's going to be in a podcast form. You know, we try to, we try to dance. Dance for our dollars, and um, we did the best job we can. And, uh, and, and indeed, Discord. Uh, speaking of Discord, I mm -hmm. think I have it figured out. If you were a Twitch sub, you can get into general disarrays now. Nice, nice. I'm not so 100 no, no. on everything working. I, I'm still yeah. fair. Don't no one sign up as a sub to be like I'm just doing this because uh, I'm watching it right now. I'm like, if you we, screw we, we, up we, anything. We, we, we should just get Exalty to try it. Like he's the guy who's been asking for it. So. Yeah, he just keep keeps going around giving people subs. So <laughs> yeah, so so let, 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 let's let's get him to do that. Shooting also, submarines. also, also, uh, we have uh, we have show notes. Being a Patreon gets yeah. you access to the show notes. You can you know see the show congeal throughout the week and maybe make some suggestions, make some corrections, provide some alternative insight. 
the, the, the door the floodgates are open so do try to throw stuff up occasionally um you know like a little preview I'm like hey what do you think of this before i go live with it things like uh this phonic firefly that i'm playing around with that one are, up, are you, uh, last are you cooked Monday. on phonics no you could almost cook on those phonics though blam all right <laughs> that's my firework impression blam <laughs> But did they lie Coming to you? Again, uh, dude, it's a thing. It's kind of brilliant. We got to get into it, though, kids. All right. Cyberpunk. It's coming to Windows 7, I guess. 10. Also 7. <laughs> I think only WoW works with yeah, DX12 on Windows like, there 7. Was one little hack. What is this? Bo- yeah. oh, I, I can't, okay, I can't click later. Yeah, I'm so excited I'm exploding again. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, it's DirectX 12 exclusive for the PC, which the reason we want to bring this up is, A, this game's going to overhype to such an extent, no one, it's not going to be able to live up to anything. B, you get a little curious, like, wait a minute, isn't this going to come to Stadia, so they're going to do a Vulcan render? It's like, absolutely. And uh, it's going to be DX12 for PC? Absolutely. Why? Money. That's why. Well, yeah, they, they go and they're like, "Oh, well, we want we want to support Window Windows Seven too." So we're testing it on the Windows Seven DirectX Twelve. No mention Windows Eight, by the way. Like, if you're Windows, if you're still on Windows Eight for whatever reason, <laughs> hey, you should up, you should upgrade to ten because then you at least that, get security that's, patches. That, that's straight up the fucking ME for the modern generation. And Microsoft's like, didn't exist, didn't happen. Yeah. Well, it, 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 it's it's one of those things where like like Vista, if you got, if you toughed it out and you got to like the last service pack, it was basically on the same level as Windows Seven. But well, you get you to know. think about it, man. I mean, you're going to be doing Vulkan for Stadia. You, the only places you're yeah. going to be seeing DX12 is uh, on Series X, Windows 10, and the Xbox X One X Series X Five, whatever. You're not going to see that on the PlayStation. You're not going to see that on the Switch. I mean. It it's kind of a dick move. Like, hey, we're thinking about maybe doing this rendering and shit like that. And Microsoft's like, yo, hey, um, my, 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 <laughs> Australian uh, penguin DX twelve. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it it's really hard to beat Visual Studio actually doing your work for you. So, yeah, I will say the saving grace though. Even in its current state right now, DXVK can tango with DX twelve. Yeah, the the can DX VK 3D. D3D. V- yeah. yeah, VK D3D. Yeah. And well, we, we we got some news regarding that a little bit later as oh, well. Man, hey, you know what? When he's not busy trying to install Doom on his Surface Pro, <laughs> he takes a break <laughs> and releases a new version of Lutris. Yeah, some call the, him the the, stick. that was actually very much in between all of the uh, attempts to run Doom on <laughs> Surface. He announces like, oh yeah, version not 5.7 is now available for Lutris. Yes. So, um, according to Strider, he's using Mason and Ninja to build translation files about time. Uh, there's also uh, Mess. Uh, the Mess runner gets the boot in favor of MAME, which is just a good idea all around. Would, 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 Our, would you say that Mess gets cleaned out? Oh yeah, that Mess got properly cleaned. And uh, RPCS3 got a new no GUI option, so you could just launch a game instead of having to see the uh, RPCS3 window like the full GUI show up and then the game launching. Now we can just get into the game properly through Luchus, which is nice. And uh, apparently Gallium 9 and Dick's Fix weren't big fans of each other. That's been Indeed. fixed now too, so that's nice. Indeed. <laughs> uh, there, there's, there's also a fix. Um, so tell, apparently telling Rad V to zero out video memory before a game launches actually substantially improves performance with uh, DirectX 12 titles running through VKD3D. So, I mean progress it's getting better you gotta get strider has gotta get ready for cyberpunk right like that's the only way you're gonna be able to play it on the linuxes if you don't want to play it in chrome yep. oh. <laughs> good work good work fridgy you know that's awesome and it's out there go play with it and uh it's a good alternative to proton especially for your gog stuff for your gog stuff yeah. for your emulator stuff <laughs> name when you when you get a gog the gog or, or uh or <laughs> like a battle battle net too yeah. Um, or, so yeah, yeah or the, the Overwatch and yeah. um, Hearthstone mm-hmm. much easier through Lutris. <laughs> Indeed. But let's get back to some native Linuxy goodness. 
Indeed. So we finally discover uh, the end result of Epic's big old middle finger to Unity. This is <laughs> this is the result of the uh, twenty five thousand dollar check that uh, Tim cut the cut the Godot guys. Um, so they have they have something called SDGFI, uh, which is um, SPF based real time global illumination. It's basically a fairly sophisticated lighting system. Um, for um that can be done efficiently on gpu or even like mid-range cpu from a few years ago and like it's really cool to see godot's uh 3d stuff starting to come together because i know for a while we're all like eh, godot's a 2d engine this is the first crack at doing a 3d thing but like there's real progress being made this Vulcan's is like being actively super supported. hot but with trees yeah it does, yes. doesn't require ray tracing <laughs> at all it doesn't require no. textures either. <laughs> I, I mean, te tex textures come later, right? This this is just showing yeah, off the layers. There's, there's your textures. Shut up. <laughs> Wait, didn't don't you have to push the cart into that at the beginning of Half Life? Pretty much. And then, <laughs> hey, look, it's that level from near Automatic Tomato. Yeah, like that entire section of level. <laughs> or Dark Souls. <laughs> blank space fill in. It's not Dark Vane. Souls. It's just dark. The cathedral. <laughs> How does it work? We'll write an article about it soon. Stay tuned, fuckos. Um, yeah, that, pretty much. They did. They did put two videos there. But yeah, no. That second uh, picture that they have in the article, I'm pretty sure I've been on that street because that looks very Cambridgey. But um, the like the global il illumination on that one is like, oh, that looks really good. And then I kept looking at that picture. It's like, wait a second. There's no ambient occlusion anywhere on that picture. That looks really good with no ambient occlusion. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. That's a good job. <laughs> hey, hey, man, epic money spends. That's, what, that's yeah. the one thing it definitely does do. Hedge them bets, Tim. Hedge them bets. Okay. Indeed. Check this out. This is a straight up blast from the past. You probably forgot it existed. PC Gamer Game of the Year from 1496. I mean, 2019. 13. 1492. 13. Columbus sailed the Dark Mod. Dark Mod 2.08. It is out. We're proud to announce the release of the Dark Mod. It's a 64 bit migration. It's now available. TDM. Da da da. Eye Candy Crowd. There's Bloom 64 bit color and SSAO. This is nice. I'm down with it. Now, to be correct, I mean, Dark Mod's basically Thief, right? Done on the uh, yeah. Doom yep. engine. Doom 3, yep. The Doom, Doom 3, 3 the, These are the yes. only psychopaths that really tangoed with that mess. Everyone else, <laughs> like, looked at that source and went, nah. <laughs> um, here's my well, thing. Well, here's my thing. Um, Dark Mod 2.8. I, I, I want to try you download a little downloader, then it downloads all the assets from genuinely around the world. Around the world, man. It was hitting mirrors. I don't, I don't think it missed a continent. But it could eat a bag of dicks because it lived up to its name, gentlemen. A little bit too much because upon launching not one not two but three monitors fade to black and by fade to black i mean just gone lost Shut the world to live out. simply nothing more to give <laughs> not there There's nothing anymore nothing and more for you if you manage to nuke all three displays it's like oh i know this game i know yeah you know what okay i control alt f1 yep kill top okay control f7 and i uninstalled the fucking game because it's 2020 yeah, <laughs> that used to be a very SDL 1.2 type of thing, but I seem to remember that we talked about them changing to SDL 2. So why are they still trying to force a full Didn't, screen OpenGL context? Haven't they even fixed it in the Doom 3 engine now? To where if you play Doom. the open Doom, yeah, uh, with Doom, Doom, you can just straight up launch it in full screen mode and it goes oh okay you want to launch it full screen here and it does and it leaves all the other monitors alone because that's sdl2 mm. that, that's how it's supposed to do it thus it's dark old days <laughs> uh the dark mod full of dark old days i always there's always been something with this game be it performance yeah. <laughs> or nuking the monitor that it's like you know what no one day it'll happen me and you but <sighs> this, I, I, that it will not be this day. You know. the, the, the problem I have with the dark mod is that like it's always interesting to see its progress. It it was it was kind of neat seeing it go from a mod to like a total conversion. But like at the end of the day, I don't like Thief as a game, so I can I can be enamored with its <laughs> development process. But it's like, hey Jordan, do you want to play this game? Not really. No. You gotta be that mindset. I mean, it reminds me of a uh, like Shodan. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or and, and any of these other 3D stealth games. Which I managed like, to get incredibly far in Shodan without realizing I could hide the bodies. <laughs> that was impressive. Yeah. I do stuff like that. <laughs> see, see, what, 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 what happens with me in stealth games is Murder Bush. If you've seen my Aragami playthrough with Sandy, fucking Murder Bush. Murder Bush <laughs> gets shit mm -hmm. done. Fine. <laughs> Let's talk about something that uh, wishful thinking. Would that be a good title? I, I mean, I'm I'm excited for missile command. You guys, another title. <laughs> you can oh, hear so, all the so, missile. Wait, <laughs> optimized for the Atari VCS. So, all right, all right. So we've we've been routinely shooting on the Atari VCS because we're all pretty sure, even if it does come out, it's not going to be successful at all. But apparently, according to Bleeding Cool, the links to all this stuff in our show notes. Um, yeah. They have updated Missile Command for the modern era, and by that I mean it doesn't just let the missiles land and vaporize us so that we don't have to live in this reality anymore. Uh -huh. No, it just gets a shiny neon coat. Kind of reminds it's, me a little yeah, bit of Tetris Effect. <laughs> so, I, I mean, like, the Arcade Classic Returns, get hype! It doesn't really do it. It's, it's fucking Missile Command. Sure, it looks nice, but that's not hard to do these days, especially on, like, the embedded Ryzen thing. Well, that one of the things thing I'm definitely going to say with this, I mean, it's definitely not, like, vector graphics. Or, I mean, it has that illusion, but they spend a lot more time with, like, the animations than they do showing the game. In, indeed. So even 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 if they do have it, right, like, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's it. Hey, guys, we have a game. This is totally real. Um, I pair, I, Yeah, because, like, I, I put in the show notes, Missile Command, you know, that game that everyone loves and finally gets that desperately needed breath of life, right? Mm -hmm. Pe people have just been clamoring, I need, I need new Missile Commands. I think one of the things <laughs> I saw with this, hey, it's good to see something, you know, I've said it again, and I'll say it every time we talk about it, I hope it ships to the people who backed it. I hope you get yes. something. I genuinely <laughs> do. But I'm also a realist. And to be fair, it does look like something I think they will be able to ship. And it'll be able to play that. Um, I'm not too sure about Borderlands 2. Because... Yeah, that's the thing. Because um, Missile Command is not exactly what i'm looking forward to in the atari vcs in fact it was very much that video of it running borderlands that, that, too that's because your but, punk ass only plays pac-man i'm like come on this is true what it takes and you're like oh, get that shit out of here but, but like, th th this, this, this is the problem with like the core conceit of the vcs is no one gives a shit about old, old atari games yeah they do like yeah <laughs> Asteroids, you can play it in mail. a browser. Um, yeah, <laughs> fucking, fucking send, send, send me hate mail about your diehard love for ET for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. We need the HD child. reboot of that. Uh, Custer's man. Revenge. Let's let's oh god, three D three D ET for the Atari. Yes, please. Oh you god, see, with, with, see, with, with, with loot boxes. Here, here, here's with the loot problem. boxes. Here's the problem. If you, you throw like a remake of ET and it's just as bad, I'm like. I kind of want to play that. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that deserves uh, to be played. <laughs> but but that's that's the thing that 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 is something that is like interesting that the Atari VCS could do. Here's this, this Dude, notoriously awful game. You, you Here's a it, modern like it, remake it could of come it. Come in a box like with some dirt in it and some other <laughs> refuse. We have to take it out, yes. pretend like you're taking it off. It'd be awesome, man. Yeah, dude. Straight no, up. Oh, no. <laughs> no, dude, it's a it's a game within a game where the main plot is you need to track down the old Atari carts because you need to finish the original game, but each cartridge only has a fraction of the game, so you keep digging through the desert to try and find these gar carts so you can you can hundred percent the game. <laughs> hey, more than that in the game section. Boom. Yeah. Yes. This is Search and Rescue 2, which is an open source uh helicopter and plane simulator uh for Linux and OS X apparently. Um, there's it's mostly focused on like the rescue um, uh, el helicopters and can airplanes. You drop obviously, it on them, uh, can, squid. Can, can, I'm sure you can. Yes. <laughs> can Can you just like cut thrust and drop the helicopter on well, the people? No, yeah, exactly. I'm thinking about spinning it and crashing it upside down because we're all horrible people. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that yes, you can do those things, but uh, yeah, no. Clearly, it's this the, it's was the designed. Right. As just uh, like a teeny tiny little simulator to see if you could. That, and uh, when, the, well, okay, um, when do you do search and rescue in an F-22? Of course, that thing can fly, but... Um, uh, you, you, you can definitely do search in an F-22. Not not so much yes, rescue, uh, but def definitely searching, search. Searching, absolutely. Rescuing, not... Mm. <laughs> But yeah, this current version, uh, they are um, basically introducing uh, OSX support, which seems to be a little odd. 
because you know in this at this particular point in time it seems a little odd to introduce anything relating to osx after apple announced that they're completely changing their uh architecture I, 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 shut up I, <laughs> rosetta 2 is going to make it all work on day one you yeah hate because rosetta 1 was such a great idea I, 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 or a I great mean, implementation I, I, as it were I, I can kind of see why they would if they're if they're doing this all in stl then like exporting to mac is relatively trivial so yes <laughs> and it is using SDL2, which is really nice uh, for yeah. uh, joysticks and pedals and whatnot. Basically, oh if you have a flight sim set up, yeah. here's a game for you. Chances yeah. are you're probably looking for something else. But you do have to <laughs> overcome the crux of rescuing the people as opposed to see, I, I want some like, <laughs> oh, no, no, ghost no, no, no. simulator people plowing yeah. into them no yeah, no no the can, can, can you just like go to and from the horizon just to give them false hope hope is there like a false hope meter that you can like max out oh <laughs> it's gonna like land this time meter. Meter. Like, hey, does, does have go. like a little like oh, close up of the little <laughs> characters at the bottom and you try to make them cry no 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 no, no. You, you, you see if you can get it to the point where they start eating each other to see who's gonna <laughs> oh, see this <laughs> This is why we shouldn't be in charge of making search and rescue design. games. Come on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Zatakax. Zakatax. Zatakax. 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 Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's light cycles. It's, 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 tr it's mm -hmm. Tron light cycles. It's 10 years old, man. It's 1.0. It we is. can review it. It is. Absolutely. Um, we, we could totally do that. Uh, the big features here is now you can explode on death. Like, there's there's particle effects now and when you die it shoots, it shoots the particles yeah that also, seems to be like the entire 1.0 is just particle effects one no 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 because they did they did fix the score cap overflow bug so if you got too high a score it would bump you down to like negative <laughs> four million whatever but like yeah I, I, I don't know. They also ditched the switcheroo because apparently... I don't know how they apparently... got to that but maybe it was like a 16-bit int and it was Boston. actually a really tiny number <laughs> for the score. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe fin finally people are playing this game and like, oh, hey, someone actually got a score that causes the integer overflow. <laughs> I had to throw it in simply because a decade for an open source project. Still making updates. We got that point released. That's something you rarely see, Super Docs card. Um, wait, they finally did it. Come on. I take that back. The explosions have corrupted <laughs> my brain together, meats. Yeah. Indeed. But... Uh, something I probably should be using, then you wouldn't be hearing all the freedom coming out, is... What did we decide yeah. on, Pedro? Cadmus? Cadmus, yeah. Cadmus, yes. Cadmus <laughs> is a graphical application which allows you to remove background noise from audio in real time in any communication app. Yeah, but it works with Pulse Audio, and what they've done... What they've done is made it like RTX voice in the sense that Pedro could install it. <laughs> Yes, there's an app image and a tab file and even an AUR uh, package build. So thank you, man, the, th 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 thank you for stealing my shtick, Pedro. Installation thing, man. <laughs> you you got to look at this. Uh, because we use uh, real-time active noise. Can there's a big monitor over here with all kind of crazy stuff going on. But then you got to set up Jack, you got to have the interface, you got to have the audio, IP audio, then all this other stuff. This... Pedro is pretty much like double click and is the button because I made a video just for fun a couple of months ago about just using noise cancellation and almost all the comments, you got to do more than push a button. Mm -hmm. You actually need to set it up. Ah. <laughs> so this now, one now you is can just very push much button. a one click install because it is and then you, uh, you start it and a little icon shows up in your system tray. And you just click on it, it's like enable noise suppression. And you pick which uh, input uh, you would like to apply the noise suppression to, and magic happens. <laughs> I'll put still noisy, but hey, man, this, I, I try it out. Try it out. This is the reason I will, like, say, go try this out because this is uh, trained on the same neural net as uh, what I use. Mm. Yeah. It's just like a nicer front end, just what we need is that. Sure, hey, I can click button and do thing. Yeah, get get it, getting accessibility for like these sorts of audio tools and like techniques is it's exactly. it's useful. People will yeah, use the them now. one click GUI is nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like that's like the big thing in the security field with encryptions. Like, oh yeah, you can do X, Y, and Z to get all your stuff encrypted. But if it's not 
press the button and encryption happens, no one's going to fucking do it. Come on, yep. you are PM. You've been running Fedora long enough to be used to that. Yeah. 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 It has a there's an app image. You can just run it out of that. Like no, who fucking I, cares. No, I need something with a store and dependency resolution. That's app and it's silly. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> I'm 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 I mean sure. You can also just build different if you want to set up your own copper repo, you absolutely can. There's a lot of handy articles on how to do that. Uh coming up next, something ate my alien mm. and also stole all my jet fuel, ostensibly to met, melt some steel beams. I don't know. Hashtag meltback. Eek, something ate my alien. That was this a the short game that video. Was... Right. <laughs> yeah, that started where you left it. <laughs> Damn it. Well, too bad. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with the black screen, people. Something ate our video <laughs> intro, too. It's the Chairquisition. We're taking a look at something ate my alien developed by Rogue. Cabium Games, done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about 16, 17 bucks US. What is it? Sama, not Soma, is a hand hand-painted digging and puzzle adventure game where you take the role of a mining ship and the little alien blob crew hijacked by a pirate ship run by an artificial intelligence. Your, your aliens have to dig, fight, and puzzle their way through subterranean worlds, fulfilling the ransom demand. Yeah. Can you do it? Can you dig this it? Is why you this is, what, this is why you take backup so that you don't fall victim to ransomware. Uh, the devs did send him some keys for this, so thanks a lot, yeah. Rokebium Games, uh, or your publisher. Uh, let's get into it. Ben no, it Stone. was Rob from Rokebium. It was Rob from <laughs> was, was it, it was it wasn't Rock from Robamium. Rod, Rod, you're no. awesome. Don't let don't let anyone tell you differently, man. So well, well, how did it run over here in Debian land, man? Well, what am I running it on? You ask. A 1920X uh, Threadripper 60, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, SSD and VME 2060. You would assume it could power its way through this uh, graphical juggernaut, which it did, but, but, um, controls. So, I should you not, my go to is my old trusty X clone controller. Picked it up. I'm like, oh, look, the menus are moving. Why, why am I getting circles and triangles and shit for button presses? All right. Uh, <laughs> You know what? You know what? Fuck you. I'm just going to get out um, the red PS4 controller. I'm like, I'll, I'll just do it this way. Then I started getting Xbox prompts. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, motherfuckers. Touche. Um, I, I didn't really have like another plan for that. I ended up playing it with the PS4 with the Xbox prompt because my brain hates could handle that. You know, I don't know shapes. I never really played with the PS4. But yeah, you need to get that unfucked. But let's talk about the fun, man, because I'd like to kick off the session by wishing everyone involved in this game a swift death by fire, because I've had diggy diggy hole stuck in my head for most of this week. I have. It sucks. I've even watched like the metal video and I'm sharing it. I'm trying to inflict this pain upon others and I'm blaming you, all of you, for it. Now let's talk about the brass tacks. What is this? You're a bipedal egg. With mining and a pew pew laser. That's it. You can't jump, but you can go full metal R2D2 deal with it. It's canon. Mode, it's available. You can shoot up unless you're Jordan, then you just fall out of the sky and die. Uh, <laughs> granted. Yes. Most of your movement is going to be done via mining because diggy diggy hole, bitches. Uh, you're, you shoot baddies, you're going to collect resources, you're going to solve some block puzzles and upgrade your shite. Uh, none of that has any business whatsoever being enjoyable. Enjoyable, yeah. But it is. What we have here is basically your stealth metrovania. Um, pretty graphics, kicking little soundtrack, and it's got that right balance of um, exploration, resource gathering, and flamey death dragon just to run. Draga! <laughs> Seriously? It's just a big worm. <laughs> Fuck that thing. Um, it's enjoyable, man. I mean, it's priced to sell 17 bucks. Uh, not bad, you know. I'd give you... Hmm, I'm gonna be honest with this, man, because I can. Uh, a solid three chairs for this. Uh, can't get anywhere near four until you unfuck those controls because that just screams no one tested the Linux build with a controller. I'm just saying. All right, so on uh, Fedora 32, 64-bit with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, it crashed on me once during the tutorial. It was like, <laughs> press A to continue. 
and there was no, I, I hit A and nothing happened. I jiggled the cursor, nothing happened. The music was still playing. It was just completely non-responsive. I'm like, fuck, do I have to do the tutorial again? No, it saved my progress. So I only had to do like the first puzzle block tutorial and not the entire thing, which is nice, I guess. Um, yeah, on, on the 1080 Ti, it holds 1100 FERPs at UHD. So, you know, t- t- <laughs> make make of that what you will. And I mean, like all the, all the blocks and sprites are clear and everything has a clear and visual identity. So there's no mistaking thing for other thing, which is good. A lot of games fall into this trap. Um, all the backgrounds kind of look the same, but that's, you know, kind of the point of the navigation puzzle is you got to remember where you are and n- take notes with the mini map, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and yeah, control wise, I got Xbox prompts in my DualShock. Let's say whatever I deal with it. Uh, fun wise. I mean, the exploration aspect is all right. Cause there are no direct routes. There are lots of branching and intersecting pathways. Um, and because everything kind of looks the same, you'll end up stumbling on new areas, which is kind of nice. And then you run out of jet fuel and you plummet to death. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm of the opinion that like the spaces that you're dealing with here are tight enough that like unlimited jet fuel doesn't really break the game because then like because the maneuverability of it i don't think it breaks the game but it keeps you honest i guess it i guess it does i don't i don't know i I found like so much has been cut short because like i was trying to duck an enemy and i fell down a hole and then i just died um i I don't i don't know uh beyond that it's kind of just like a basic terraria style game minus all the building and crafting there's a little bit uh you can do when you go back to your shift but you need to gather like a lot of resources a lot more than you can like carry on a per trip basis yeah so the any- robots like straight up is like you gotta bring more shit in this son yeah mm-hmm. um <laughs> yeah if, if every every everything requires like quite a bit of resources it'll if like even even like the basic weapon upgrade will take like five or ten trips um and i, I don't know like normally i'm not a big fan of these sort of mining games and especially because like the open-ended craftiness but i guess I guess if you take that out, it, this game doesn't really work for me either. Even even if you are a 2D sprite and you're dig diggy hole, so I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it two. It's not it's not really my jam. Yeah, over here on um, KD Neon, it launched out of the box, and uh, on the GTX 1080 with a Ryzen 7 3700X, it was getting somewhere between 1100 and 1300 FERPs with VSync disabled at 2560 by 1440. Um, but it's Unity, so you enable uh, VSync and it goes down to 144, as it should. So very good work on the audio cues because like everything that you mine has its own specific audio cue. Uh, when the worm appears, it has its very distinctive audio cue. And it sort of subverts some of the established visual cues, like, you know, if you have a video game and you see like a 2D cross section of that includes the floor, chances are you're going to see a skeleton in that floor somewhere and here you actually care about those skeletons it's not just a thing that's there you actually need to go and find like it's dig the it exploration out exploration thing so, that's what they did right yeah. you're sitting there going oh i want to go f- what the fuck's that let me go take a look or oh. yep or, or or if you're like in an area that it's not directly accessible and you're like hey there's a lot of resources there how the hell do i get to the place yeah. yep but, it's basically I- actually digging your way around and um for the controls i kind of had to uh rebind everything but this isn't exclusive to this game because i have to do that with all the games oh (laughs) so pedro i have to i have to bring up something you did in the in the gameplay footage because i found this is this is a problem i ran into quite a bit was like i need to target this specific block which means i gotta jump shoot a little jump shoot a little (laughs) i i I really wish they smoothed that out because it's just annoying yeah it's like the uh, jumping and shooting mechanics are very very basic like everything else in the game uh and that for some things it works in his favor for other things not so much but let's just talk about the fun uh on many an occasion i have complained on this very show when we're throwing chairs at a video game that uh, that video game has no charm at all And once again, this isn't the first time that this has happened, it's clearly a game aimed at children that gets it right. It gets just about everything right. Um, I mean, look at it. Yeah, you could toss it at a chalice like, yeah, that's my favorite thing. Flaming death dragons. Here you go, sport. (laughs) I mean, 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 the (laughs) Hobbit has flaming death dragons and it's a children's book. It it does. It None very much does. And not. let's face it, the worm is pretty much ineffective most of the time. Um, the 
Yeah, but yeah, it's it's usually children's games that get it right. Uh, it has a, like a a HUD that's actually useful, and it you actually have to pay attention to the HUD. That what like one of the boxes has the last thing that the AI told you, like the little tutorial, to remind you. It's like this is a new mechanic. You're probably going to need it very soon, so I'm going to keep it here. That's very useful. That's actually very useful. Like, all of the icons on the side of the map, they're pretty self-explanatory, and you do end up using them a lot once you get to, like, the latter parts of the levels to figure out where you need to be going. Like, it's like, oh, I can go there, but I haven't started digging there yet. So, away we go. What's, go what's your thoughts on the oxygen mechanic? The oxygen, I didn't mind. That was just, like, another thing besides health it's that, there. like... Depletes over time, I, yeah. I personally I, don't I didn't like really nanny think bars. anything of it. Not a big fan of nanny bars, but it's slow enough to where you can really just like tell it to go fuck off. Yeah, like, I, it I, takes I, a I, long I, time to deplete. I got screwed by it because like I, I, it was it was low, and then I'm like, wait, where's the nearest thing? Oh fuck, it's all the way over there. Shit. Now it did do a good job of like curbing it. That's what I'm saying. There's good game design in this, and that's not something you normally see, because you're thinking about exploring, but you're like, wait a minute, do I have enough juice to get there? Yeah. It's so like, do I take the teleporter yeah. out, but I still have plenty of room in my backpack? And that's the thing, it gives you all of the information on screen, even for the puzzles, if you're looking at the video version, you just saw me solve one of the puzzles, all the information is basically on screen the entire time. There are some bigger ones that you need to go up and down. Uh, but yeah, that's just a matter of jumping around. So yeah, no, everything is on screen. Everything that you need, all the information is there. You just have to figure out what it is that you want to do. And once again, it's always children's games Seven that get it points. right. It's, it's like two base mechanics that you have in this game. It's the digging for the exploration, and uh, then they sort of integrate that into the puzzle solving so you can get the blocks into the right holes uh, at the right time by digging in specific areas and pushing them around every now and then. It's like two very simple mechanics in a very simple game with very simple graphics, and it's loaded with charm, like the AIs, both your ships and the um, the ransom, the the ship that's kind of kidnapped R yours. R ransomware like, Magoo, yeah. Yeah. Like, they both have very distinct personalities, and like, the whole game is just littered. Even the little strut animation that your little alien has walking around, it's really well done. So yeah, four chairs for me. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. It's it's not yeah. It's it's not a bad constructed game. It really just boils down to: Are you a fan of this sort of genre? And it's a good can, game. Can, it's well done. There's some thought yeah. went into it. it. It it's a solid game, and I mean it's it priced is. very well for a <laughs> solid game. Gotta give it that. Indeed. Indeed. All right. Coming up next, four score and seven beers ago, we yeah. had a we had a, a slog of the hate mail. We got to get through. And then, I guess, Broforce. Oof. If you're watching us, if you're watching us live, no, I'm watching you after the fact. I'm going to message you right now. Where's my Broforce? <laughs> well, uh, Jordan made the unfortunate mistake of just mentioning something, so now I'm going to delay this a little bit longer. Don't, don't, don't because... worry, buddy. I have a, I have a cup. Floor tower. You can't. <laughs> you, can, you can't stop me. I'm 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 like fucking Batman. I, I, ginger, I'm like eight uh, steps ahead. You, you can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. But let's make the gingerbread yeah. man into a horror movie. <laughs> I'm I'm gingerbread Batman, man. I got You're I got I got my I got my icing sugar batterings. I got I got like what my gummy. What does gingerbread my... Batman say? He says ho ho ho. Because <laughs> apparently he's Santa Claus too. Fuck yeah. He is. Yes. But if you're Santa Claus and you'd like to let us know how we're um, Naughty. <laughs> just not on point tonight, uh, you can go to escapecast.com, hit the contact button, and LGC Weekly is usually the default show that you uh, send your bit of hate mail to. But you, there, there is that Wednesday show, uh, what myself and, and uh, Jill um, do. Or you can ask Jordan for relationship advice. Yep. Or if... For some reason, you would like to um, pick the other category. There's that too. The other. It's, it's, it's just called the other category. Where it leads to, not even we know. It just gets routed yeah. to like some random email address. It's just there. We don't really know how that happened, but it's there. And if your company sending a bunch of links and shit like that, use the email address there instead of sending because our spam golem will straight up fuck you up. 
All right. Are we cool? Yeah. <laughs> so, who wants to take this one? Oh, boy. Okay, Pedro. fine, I'll do it. Do uh, it. Captain Zero, uh, he had a bit of an attempt there, but... All right. Whilst you may call your show the Linux Gamecast, I think you're more of a Linux Gaming Mafia. The okay. quote-unquote Linux Gaming Mafia members, Ven, the Godfather Hi. Stone, a rare combination of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and the Godfather. Most of the time, he's Mr. Hyde spurring on the madness, but just before that flaming disaster, otherwise known as Previously the Linux the Gamecast, quote-unquote, <laughs> enters into a death spiral then having assumed the persona of dr jekyll leaps in pulls back the stick and okay I'm just, I'm just level, this, this is straight up fucking fanfic at this point just so everyone's yes. on the same all right yeah yes, like this the, 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 the steer this dude loves his bloviation for sure just keep going okay uh yeah. I ho still oops wrong show. It's uh cue the music to save yet another episode. Other times he is much like the Godfather, quote unquote. Orchestrating everything from behind the scenes, not to mention cooking up weird interfaces in Linux. Then we have Jordan. Fork you, Svang. Uh <laughs> My, what an angry young man. But then uh, I realized that he is a fellow Canadian. I suppose that's how he wants me to read that. And lives much closer to the fearless leader, Captain Sparklepants, and his merry band of insert favoring disparaging name here, who steals from the poor and gives to those deemed worthy, all whilst maintaining, uh, sorry, all whilst making Jordan pay for everything, including those games he buys with Canadian dollarettes instead of real money. To add insult to injury, Jordan tries to identify with one of the 162 or 162 you know, to help out with this, I'm imagining fucking Turkey Tron right now. Jesus. <laughs> Thousands of years ago in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, one of the 162 officially recognized genders. But no matter which one he chooses, he's wrong. God and finally, God, where we, we have you're duck. taking too long. Yuck! Uh, yeah, he, uh, I was he, just he, going he, for and finally. He seems, to run, uh, he seems to run out of steam for Pedro. <laughs> Apparently, his fingies are tired. Oh, I am That's tired. Terrible. It's like three forty-four in the morning, bro. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Herr Capitan here. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> would, 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 yeah, would, and would, would you would you care to continue this? Manifesto, I want to say. Sure. Manifesto, yeah. sure. All right. And finally, we have Pedro Giggles Mateus. Uh, though he may be Portuguese, at least he doesn't season his comments with BAM. I don't know what kind of Portuguese people you've been running into, but I wouldn't want to meet them. As for Jill, I shall refrain from saying anything. I am a gentleman after all, and a massive... Uh, let's not go there. Uh, and besides, she's not a part of LGC. So while I sit tell, here and tell wait her for... that. Ep True. True, Jordan. Okay. <laughs> So while I sit here and wait for Epic to produce a Linux version of UT3, <laughs> good luck with that, I shall continue to allow myself to be entertained by the madness known as LGC. I must also mention that interfacing Linux is another favorite of mine, and finally, I would like to thank all of you for not killing me in a dark alley somewhere. Thanks for the idea. That that That's some fucking optimism right there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I've, I, I, I just want to come out and say it because I'm just like, I'm, I'm cheesed by it. Gender jokes aren't funny. They're just stupid. Like, whatever. Leave, leave, leave trans rights, leave trans people alone. They don't need the fucking minor I'm, harassment stuff. Like, it, honestly, it's, it's dumb. That's all I'm going to say about it. Don't do it. That, 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 that's, the, that's the one thing here that bugs me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, kudos. You made us read. Well, you made me read through the whole yeah. thing because no one else wanted to touch that. <laughs> But, I, I read, I read um, through it. I don't want to read it out loud. <laughs> what kind of Portuguese people have you been meeting? And what spam? Well, what do you think at the end of the day, man? You're going to get with fucking hate mail when you get that opened up. You get to find out new things about people. Yeah, which we did. <laughs> it's a wild ride. Yeah. <laughs> On that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 
Cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Time when we show up live all in your face. It's kind of brilliant. Hour before that, pre-pre-super shows and kicking off for our patrons, people making the show possible, paying them bills. But if you want to get a hold of me, I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter and uh, just at Vin at Mast. .linuxgamecast.com I'm Jordan Spung. I am... I don't know. I am everything and nothing. Mostly nothing. You can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter. <laughs> posting mostly nothing. There you go. And I am Pedro Mateos, and I had to basically grab on the side of my chair for a while there. I think you know why. How but drunk you can are find you? me at Unaccounted4 uh, on Twitter. Or at an accounted for on mass.linuxcapecast.com, but I don't really go there. I mean, whenever I go there and it's like, oh yeah, that's right, you can add people from other uh, Mastodon instances. So I enable the federated timelines like, oh, hello pornography. How'd you do? <laughs> Yay, porn. Let's roll that's some all credits. <laughs> porn, 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 God damn porn, it. porn. It's always porn with you. It is. Porn's great. Always. Like, Yeah. That's us. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we got we got to thank our <laughs> lovely, lovely executive producers, people who are riding that money train, shoveling it into our coal fire, and inhaling the black soot that emerges. We got to thank our Theron, Empty, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Bob Brandt, Aldeus, Magik, Scoots, yeah, Frosty the Claw Man, uh, Drummer, <laughs> Lutris, Foxy, and the rest. Like David S, Smashly G, Michael, Eagle, Jolly, Tactical, Gaius, Matthew. Oh, God, I'm going to burp. Nicole, oh. Nine Bullets, Vendorcells, <laughs> Sildat, Kazakh, North Crazy. Ranger, Ryan, Shake. Joel Whoa. Angel, Mr. KTW, Alert. Master, Brass. Doug, Douglas, Mr. Amish. Crazy. Jack, oh. Todd, the other Reidecker, <laughs> Jill and Steve, that, 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 that other Russ Mawada, Kim, Dodger, Dodger, Oscar Trudels, Dodger, Oscar Trudels, Trudels, and Iris, <laughs> one to one I, 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 Chris, I guess Craig, Stephen, Stephen yeah. Nathan, Veritanuda, Simcha, wait, wait, the, I, I guess uh, the Admiral we, JT. We gotta do uh, massive Dorit. chunks too. Raspberry. Massive chunks just up. <laughs> yeah, massive chunks. Enormous chunks. What are you talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. Enormous, yes, enormous yes, chunks. Reed. Enormous chunks. <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Also, PowerShell <laughs> and Linux, Nixon's Pyramid, and of course, the glowing, barely legible people behind Ven's head. <laughs> All the Linux Nuru, Artherin, I can't see the other ha. top two. <laughs> one of them it's... is Mike G, I know that. <laughs> yeah, well, obviously one of them is Mike G, the guy who owns, like, half of our shit. One of them, yeah, pretty much. One of them could be like, shut the hell up, Jordan. But... Yeah. No, shut the it like could that. be shut the hell up, Vin. It could be shut the... Make use of it, so all I'm saying. I'm giving people yeah. horrible ideas. Yeah, you get to pick the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful people die to fire. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Five dudes.